Hey guys, so in today's video, I'll show you how to start a Colorado LLC. I'll be taking you guys through these six main steps when it comes to setting up your LLC. Those are gonna be outlined right here, but we'll go into more detail on each of these later on in this video. And if you actually don't wanna do this yourself and you wanna save a lot of time, I actually recommend just using a service to do all this for you. And so later on in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do this through Northwest Registered Agent. You'll be able to set up your LLC in under five minutes. So yeah, skip to this time code if you want to get to that section. All right, step number one is to actually just name your LLC. And you do need to follow some steps naming guidelines. In the state of Colorado, to basically identify the entity type of your business, your LLC name needs to contain one of these things over here. Most people are just going to go with LLC as that's the most easy, but of course you can choose any of these. The name you choose must also be distinguishable from other businesses registered with the Secretary of State. And here's some examples of different pairs of names that are actually distinguishable, which is what you want. But things like periods and commas, as well as if it's capitalized or not, those are not going to actually distinguish your name from someone else's name. So just keep that in mind when choosing your business LLC name. We do recommend doing a state name search. We'll leave that link down below. And of course, if you're building a business, you might probably want a website as well. And if you want a custom domain that matches your business name exactly, I do recommend looking that up prior to registering your LLC to make sure that that is available. Step number two is to hire a registered agent. So this is basically a person or a business that is responsible for sending and receiving important legal documents on your behalf. So this can be things like tax forms, lawsuit forms, government correspondence forms, stuff like that. This registered agent must be a full-time resident of Colorado. So it can actually be yourself, which I actually don't recommend. It can be an employee or it can be a registered agent service, which is what I recommend. The reason why you don't want your registered agent to be yourself is because this is actually public information and people will actually be able to search you up. So yeah, that's why I don't recommend it. But if you guys use something like Northwest registered agent to form your LLC, they actually give you their registered agent service free for a year. So yeah, that's definitely what I recommend doing. Step number three is to follow your Colorado LLC articles of organization. This is filed with the Colorado Secretary of State. Currently, the filing fee is $1. This is going to be active until June 30th, 2023. And then after that, it's going to be $50. The only way to submit this document is to do it online. And we'll leave that link down below in the description. Next, you're going to want to decide on your management structure. So it's either going to be member managed or manager managed. And for most of you guys watching this video, it's going to be member managed since you are the one managing the LLC. Step number four is to actually create your LLC operating agreement. This is not actually actually required in Colorado, but I do recommend having one. It's basically a legal document that's going to outline the ownership and operating procedures of your company. This ensures that both owners and employees know what to expect from your company and vice versa, and that's going to really minimize any future conflicts. In detail, it's going to include your organization structure, management and voting structure, capital contribution rules, distribution rules, membership changes, as well as dissolution rules. And yeah, if you guys use a service to do this for you, they can literally make your operating agreements for you. Step number five is to obtain your EIN for your LLC. So this is basically like your social security number for your business. And the reason why you guys need this is because it's going to allow you to actually file your taxes, open up a business bank account and hire employees. You guys can actually have Northwest do this for you or I just recommend doing this yourself since it takes like five minutes. That link's gonna be down below and it's completely free of charge to do. And then step number six is to obtain any additional permits and licensing. Now I'm not gonna get into this too much since every business is different, but I just recommend looking this up for your specific industry and see what like licenses and permits you need. Now, after you form your Colorado LLC, you'll want to open up a business bank account. This is going to allow you to separate your personal assets from your business assets, which is very important. You also may want to get a business credit card. So we'll leave a link down below to some of our favorite business cards. And you'll definitely want to hire an accountant. So this is someone that's going to help you save a lot of money in taxes. Make sure you're doing everything in compliance. They'll help you do payroll, bookkeeping, and, and whatever else you ask of them. Now, in terms of tax filing requirements, there are some specific rules that you'll need to know for Colorado. There's the Colorado sales tax. So if you are collecting sales tax for selling goods and services, then you will need a seller's permit in order to legally be able to collect that sales tax, which is then remitted to the state. And also if you're hiring employees, there are going to be taxes along with that. So there's the unemployment insurance tax, employee withholding tax. And yeah, I recommend speaking with your accountant about that. Now with an LLC, you must of course report your annual income to the IRS using the following forms. If you have a multi-member LLC, which not that many of you guys will have. It's going to be form 1065, the partnership return. And then if you have a single member LLC, which is probably going to be most of you guys, it's going to be form 1040 schedule C. But yeah, an LLC is a pass-through entity, meaning any money that you make in this business flows directly to your personal tax return. You must also file an annual report called the periodic report with the Colorado Secretary of State. This can be done online, which is what I recommend. It's $10. There are some rules, which I'm not going to cover too much, but you guys can feel free to pause this video and read it. And it's very important that you guys do this on time 
time because there can be some pretty big penalties. For example, having your LLC marked as delinquent if you are significantly late. So now I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up your LLC through a formation service like Northwest. So the first thing you want to do is click on the link down below. It's gonna take you to this exclusive $39 business formation service landing page. You won't be able to find this anywhere else. So definitely make sure to click on that link. Now I'm gonna click get started right here. We're gonna select our business entity type. So we're doing an LLC and then we're gonna select where would you like to form your business? We'll select Colorado. Now we will select our processing time. So you guys can see the faster it is, the more expensive, but we'll go ahead with the five day processing for this video. Next, we'll enter in our business name. So we'll go with CCM Media LLC. You guys can also do a comma like this if you want, but I just prefer to have it clean like this. Next, you'll enter in your physical address and mailing address. I just recommend using the registered agent address that comes with the service. So we'll click continue here. Here we will select the management type. So there's member managed. I'll show you guys this. As you guys can see, most small business LLCs are member managed, but you guys can read this and see if this applies to you. It probably will not. So we'll select the number of members in the company. And since it's just me, I'll select one and then we'll put my name and an address is going to be the registered agent address. So click continue. Now we'll input our email address as well as a password and then we'll click continue. Now we'll enter in our contact details. After that's entered, we'll click continue right here. And now we'll be able to add any optional items that we want. So if you want them to actually get your EIN number for you, you guys can select this and you guys can see that's $50 extra. I recommend just doing that yourself. It's super, super easy. If you want your LLC to be a tree as an S corp for tax purposes, you guys can also have them file form 2553 for you. They also have premium mail forwarding, a virtual office, trademark service, as well as phone service. I do believe phone service is free. And yeah, we'll click continue. And now we'll enter in our payment information. So once you're done with this, you'll click done and the whole LLC formation process is gonna get started. You'll be able to check on the status through your dashboard as well as by email. And again, the link to this specific Northwest deal is gonna be down below. So make sure to use that link. Anyways, that is basically how you create an LLC in the state of Colorado. I know we covered a lot. Feel free to reference this video at any point. And yeah, if you guys found the video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. This entire channel is dedicated to helping you build your business. All right, thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.